The True Point 300 has a mode called the height tracking mode. Uh, this is used to take height measurements or multiple height measurements along a utility pole like we have here. To activate the height tracking mode, I press the function button to get to the, all the different routines. I'm just going to go ahead and navigate over to the correct icon, the height tracking icon. If I have a question about the height tracking icon, I can hit the question mark and it gives me a diagram showing what, what mode I'm in. I press the equal sign to activate that mode. Since I'm outdoors, I will not be able to use just the, the laser pointer to see for targeting. I'm going to have to at, utilize the camera. I press the camera button once and now that's my viewfinder. I can use the up and down arrows to zoom in and zoom back out. It goes up to four times zoom. I want to activate it one time. Now I want to do multiple measurements uh, to, on this utility pole. Not just one, one measurement to the top. I'm going to do multiple. And to do this, I'm going to establish a base, base angle and distance to the bottom of the pole. And then as I tilt up, the tilt sensor is just going to activate. And when I get to my first area of measurement, I'll activate that tilt sensor, calculates the height, and I can continually do that moving up the utility pole. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a measurement to the base, get a distance and a base angle established. I press the fire button. The laser is activated. The crosshairs are red on the screen. I press the fire button again and I get my distance and base angle. From here I just press the fire button once to activate the tilt sensor. Now the laser is not firing to get a distance. It's just going to do the tilt sensor. So I just move up to the first point I need a height measurement to. Use the LAA300 to find adjusted in. Press the fire button. It captures that height. I press the camera button to do a screen grab. Now to do my next height, I, I don't hit the fire button, I hit the clear button. The clear button just clears that last tilt angle. So I've still established that base angle and base and that distance. Again, I track up to the next point I need a height measurement to, use the adjustment, press the fire button, activates that tilt, tilt sensor, press the fire button again, captures that, that angle and captures the value, the height value. Do another screen grab for documentation purposes. Hit the clear button to clear that last tilt angle. I can go ahead and press the fire button. And as I'm tracking up, you can see the height measurement change as I'm moving up. I'm going to go ahead and go to an attachment point. You can use the uh, adjustment to targeting. Press the fire button. Captures that tilt angle and a new height measurement. And I'll do another screen grab. I'm going to clear that measurement, press the fire button so I can track up to the top of the, of the pole, press the fire button, and now I, I've got multiple heights on one shot. I've established my base angle, my base distance, and I'm just using the tilt sensor and tracking heights multiple ways up the utility pole. That's the height tracking mode of the True Point 300.